Today we're going to talk about varicose veins and spider veins and this condition usually affects a lot of people out there, around 30%. And we're going to see how this usually forms, some of the signs that you have that because it's not always visual and uh, some of the complications you can get as a result. Also, we are going to look at the causes and the possible treatments that you can get because sometimes it's usually hard to treat this condition because of some of the things that usually contribute to it forming in the first place. All treatment sometimes becomes a lifestyle change or something that's a little bit more invasive and we're going to see some of those right along now. Varicose veins, this is where you have a bulging vein, mostly at the calf region. This is in the lower extremities in your legs. And spider veins are almost the same, but now varicose veins mostly affect the veins, but spider veins affect the capillaries around them. Now, how do they form? Now, blood is usually pumped from your heart to the lungs. This is where they fetch oxygen. Now, it goes back to the heart, and then this is where now it's pumped out again, and now goes to every other part of the body, including the legs. And then from the legs, it will come back into the heart for the same cycle so that's a complete cycle now there's a difference between arteries and veins in that arteries will always contain blood at a high pressure and this is because it's coming directly from the heart and the fact that now the lumen now the space that pipe it's okay a vein is or even an artery is like a pipe so that pipe when it comes to the artery is a little bit narrower meaning that the blood there will be under high pressure so blood there will just move it will just go because Pressure is high, so it doesn't struggle to go. But now an issue comes when now this blood will have to come back to the heart. Because now the pressure that was there has already been absorbed by the body. Meaning that the blood that's coming out from the organs to the heart is under low pressure. Now, there's something that's very important to maintain that blood uh, moving in one direction, which are the valves. Now, the valves will always make sure that blood is flowing in one direction. And also, um, a little bit of a misfortune is... When it comes to the veins, the lumen, the pipe, the diameter is usually a little bit larger compared to the arteries, meaning that here blood will not be under that high pressure. So it will have to flow by being forced a little bit up and then the valves will make sure that it's closing to make sure that that blood is not coming back so that it just maintain one direction of the way up to the heart. I know by now you understand where we're headed. Now, the valves, in case you have an issue with the valves, they usually are not able to close so that now blood will maintain one direction and this will make blood to especially when you're standing and you know there is gravity that will act on the same blood so gravity will pull the blood down and because the valves are not sufficient it means that some of that blood will just flow back or just it will take a little bit more strain for it to go up now this is where now the blood start collecting especially on the veins that are on the calf region of the of your legs and this is where now they start bulging now something else that will happen the walls of the veins might be weaker meaning that they become a little bit larger and this will accommodate more blood reducing the pressure this will make it a little bit harder for the blood to flow all the way to the heart and especially if you're standing because now the gravity like we said is still acting on the same blood other reasons which are a little bit not so common is uh, something like a clot now you might have a clot and it goes and gets stuck somewhere now that's be you now behind that clot blood will pile up and this is what will cause a bulging of that vein how do you know that you have varicose veins this is quite obvious you get a bulge of the veins on the calf region sometimes in the lower extremities near the ankle and sometimes you might have some ankle swelling you might have some spider veins around where you have the veins that are bulging and you might start experiencing muscle cramps especially around the calf region when you strain or maybe when you just move your legs suddenly rest like leg syndrome might be common and also um, a burning or a throbbing Kind of a sensation, especially in the heart beats. When the heart beats, you feel like there's something going on there. Something like a, either like a, a heat, a throbbing heat, or a burning sensation around there. It might be accompanied by pain. Now, what are the complications? One, inability to walk or stand for long. Because now, this will have a toll on that. Because you see, the longer you stand, the more that blood will pile up behind uh, the vein. And this will create... So that sensation or the signs that we've mentioned are going to increase. Now we have venous ulcers and this might happen because now blood is still standing on the same position and especially if you're not doing anything about that, it might stay there for long making the situation worse and you start developing ulcers around those areas. Now we have clots, 
which are superficial because now remember that blood is just standing there for a long period of time and in case you have a damaged vessel this will activate clotting and now these clots will make it even worse or even create that venous ulcer that we are talking about causes we have several one of which is hereditary you might find that this is running down in the family meaning that if you are a member of that family you have an increased risk of getting that condition now we have other things like an increased amount of homocysteine in blood and this will um, inhibit production or manufacture of something like collagen elastin and also proteoglycans they are very important when it comes to maintaining the structure of your veins now in case you have less of that or in case you have a high amount of homocysteine there's a high correlation between high amount of homocysteine and venous insufficiencies like we mentioned uh, we have issues with their valves issues with their veins walls and the formation of the clots now this is because of a high amount of homocysteine we have things like hormones and this is why you find that mostly in ladies and especially you get to work somewhere around menopause there is a high risk of you getting the um, uh, the varicose veins we have age above 50 and by now you understand that age as you grow older the cells becomes kind of weak in a way so some of the structures in the body might not be as good as they used to be so one of the structures will be the veins and this is where now the insufficiencies will start coming in another one which is quite common is a vitamin c deficiency like we said vitamin c is very important when it comes to the creation or manufacture of collagen collagen is a protein that maintains the structure of your skin uh, the walls of the veins and this is the reason why mostly when you have a deficiency when it comes to vitamin C, you easily bleed when you're brushing your teeth or you breathe easily. This is because now even the structure of the, the veins will be compromised. So that's one of the reasons, vitamin C. And uh, before you even go to the treatment, you definitely know what to do. In case you have the issues with this, then vitamin C, uh, especially from the citrus family, will give you almost everything that you need here. We have excess weight and this comes with so many other complications. And also clothing, very important here. Now in case maybe you're wearing clothing, that will restrict the flow of blood. You're going to accumulate that down there. And in case maybe you start wearing them for long period of time, it might become chronic and this might end up damaging the structure of your veins and this will just continue being a varicose veins because now in the first place you started restricting the flow so due to the accumulation of the blood now this pressure will build up and try to distend the lumen or that space in between uh, uh, the space that is usually inside the vein so in case you distend that it means that it will hold more blood and this will reduce the amount of pressure now we have things like uh, studying for long in case you do that remember we said we have gravity and this gravity will pull down almost everything and because blood in their veins is not under high pressure it means that it will be affected so this if you don't have enough factors in your veins to uh, push that blood up so um, they might end up piling there and this will cause the varicose veins now treatment here might not be necessary most of the time because it's not that troublesome but sometimes it can become uh, very troublesome to your health like we saw in case you are having the complications that we mentioned you really need to have this taken care of we have several approaches here we have lifestyle changes and also like um physical approaches now lifestyle Increase the intake of vitamin C. Try to increase the amount of uh, fruit that you are taking so that you increase vitamin C. That will help in the uh, creation of um, the collagen. Sometimes the intake of vitamin C can affect uh, calcium levels. And another thing that you need to do is sometimes you avoid standing for too long. And in case this is not avoidable, just get to have like um, some few minutes or some few hours where you elevate your legs above your waist and this will let now gravity act on the same blood to try to push it down and uh, by doing this it will be able to um, now, now flow past the veins and uh, this will temporarily relieve the symptoms you can also use elastic clothing that will compress the leg especially the calf and this will uh, reduce the amount of blood that will be stuck there so it will give it a little bit more lesser of a lumen and uh, this will force the blood to go up and also sometimes massage can help you try to massage the blood away and uh, this might help in uh, passing the blood past the vein and uh, don't be aggressive because now here you can even damage the veins further and after massaging it's good to just wear the elastic clothing like we mentioned we have other things that are 
kind of let's say a little bit more invasive and this includes now either bypassing the vein now that vein where you have that issue is completely bypassed or that vein is closed down or this a glue that can be applied to that vein to close it down so that blood will not come uh, through that direction and it will just be diverted through other veins around the, the leg so that's one of the things that you can do now we have other things like closing the vein completely like we said this is completely closing it and we have a surgical ligation whereby now the vein is tied completely tied so that now that blood will stop pulling around where you have issues with, uh, with that uh, the vein and especially if um, that section of the vein is uh, dilated meaning it's larger or it has an issue with a the valve there it can be closed down when you have Things like um, avoiding restrictive clothing. Like we mentioned, if you're wearing clothes that will restrict the flow of blood, it's good to just relax your body sometimes. Sometimes we are uh, loose clothing that will let blood to flow all through, and especially if you are sleeping at night. This is the time when uh, the, the blood pressure usually drop. So it's very important for you to wear very loose clothing. Now we have exercises that are very important. We have uh, control your weight. Make sure that you're within the BMI from 18.5 to 24.5, very, very good around that area. Make sure that your weight is in, in between there. And also reduce the long standing. In case maybe you're working somewhere that you might stand, try to find some time where you're going to lie down and lift your legs so that now that blood will just be forced uh, to flow by gravity. Now I hope you're gaining volume and if you're gaining, Give us a thumbs up and uh, let's meet in the next video. And by the way, before you go, in case you want us to extend the conversation, just type in the comments. We just continue our conversation down there. Until next time, see you there.